our expertise comes from being so vertically integrated. We know what it takes to go all the way through the process. We house raw material, we saw the material, we forge it, we heat treat it, we machine it, and we ship it, and we do it all under one roof. That allows us to meet our customers' requirements, and generally speaking, that allows us to also have cost savings because we can do it all in-house. We have a constant stock of commonly used materials. We have oxygen-free copper, various copper alloys. We have brass, we have aluminum. We stock it to benefit our customers and to reduce lead times. So it's, it's at our expense that we stock that material so that we can quickly respond to customers' requirements. Our saw operation consists of six different saws. We can handle anything up to 32 inches in diameter, as well as up to 10,000 pounds. We have specific saws set up for more automated services, as well as specialty services. And we typically do a lot of test bar cutting, and we can respond to that very quickly and efficiently with the equipment that we have. Open die forging is generally making simple shapes. Closed die forging, that's trying to create a more near net shape on a product, and it's part specific. For many years, we've created seamless rolled rings, and that's the ability to upset a material, punch a hole in it, and be able to roll it to a defined dimension that allows us to produce parts quickly and efficiently and in a very consistent manner. In heat treat, it's basically recipes. What's in the public domain on copper alloys is so broad and so wide, you will ruin a lot of copper and a lot of parts before you find a sweet spot. For example, uh, if I tell you I want my brownies cooked in your oven, but I tell you the range of that oven has to be between 200 degrees and 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're gonna cook it somewhere between 10 minutes and an hour. You're gonna burn a lot of brownies before you come up with a good recipe. That's an analogy to the metallurgy. Some people want things a little overaged and a little tighter, a little stronger. Others want the metal a little softer, uh, not so strong, but they don't want the brittleness. And we've learned that through designs of experiments, where we purposely, at our own cost, set up an array uh, of testing where you know the metallurgy has good hardness, good strength, good mechanical properties, good electrical conductivity, and uh, we've been able to learn some good recipes on how to achieve those results. Here at Willowloy Products, we have 15 CNC lathe turning machines ranging from 15 inch diameter chucks all the way up to 63 inch chucks. We have three mills. All three of those mills have fourth axis ability with tables on them that can be switched at any time. And three manual machines for roughing out or squaring up before we go to CNC type turning. There's no point in making a large, complicated, expensive part and having it not show up to its destination. And so we actually have our engineers create packaging for each and every part that we produce. At that point, generally have an inspection at the dock to ensure that all customer requirements have been met and our shipping guys are very adept at producing whatever the customer requires and making sure that everything arrives safe and sound. Well, it has been a leader in machining because that's what we do. That's all we do is non-ferrous materials, the copper, the brass, the aluminum. All of our tooling, all of our machines, all of our settings and recipes are all designed around that. Seeing that we've done it for so long, that's what we've set ourselves to be good at, and we are.